Okay, so we're starting this out with Millennial, right? So, user the eight. We're gonna look at the adult age ranges brought to us by Mental Flaws. What the fuck is that? That that's not my my group. Okay, the Silent Generation was born 1928 to 1945, which is my father's generation. My father's 75 years old. So he's, he's actually part of his generation. He was actually born the year after um, World War II ended. So I think 49 was his age, was when he was born. Because I think it ended in 48. Then there were baby boomers. 1946 to 1964. Hey, which is my mother's age. Because she's... sixty eight Because she's literally like... Wait. Yeah, 68. She's 68. She'll be 69 this coming year, but technically she is 68 years old. She's like 30, 31 years older than me. Then there's Gen X born in 1965 to 1980. That's what my older sisters, two older sisters' ages are. Then there's my group with me, my little brother, and my little sister. We are millennials born in 1981 to 1996. 27 to 42 years old, which is like... Mm. <clears throat> Do we have to include the 27-year-olds? Then there's Gen Z, born 1997 to 2012. Uh, 11 to 26 years old, right? And then we have Gen Alpha, born in early 2010s to 2025. What? It's only 2024! Shut the fuck up! How was measuring this? Forty-five minus 28, what is that? There's a three, 23 years. Eighteen right there. That's fifteen. Okay. That's fifteen. That's, so okay. So why are the ones before that? Like twenty, you know what? It, I don't fucking care. I don't. But now we know the age ranges, right? Right. And the reason we need to know the age ranges is because I was very concerned about uh who this individual belongs to right here. Uh, I don't know who this individual is, but he is insane. He is insane. Um, son arrested after father found beheaded in Buck's Fort home. Video posted online. For anyone who didn't hear about this, I'm just not hearing about it, so I don't know all the details. Let's go. This breaking news in Bucks County. Police investigating what they're calling a suspicious death in Middletown Township. And the initial details coming into our newsroom are disturbing to say the least. Our Chris O'Connell is live at the scene on Upper Orchard Drive. Chris, what can you tell us? Well, guys, Middletown Township Police, along with Bucks County detectives, are on scene here of what they're only describing officially as a suspicious death. But Fox 29 sources are telling us a man was found beheaded inside that home. And I mean, it's really suspicious how that happened. Like, it might, someone might have done something, or it was the chandelier. Thank you, found for for like making sure we knew I was that sarcastic. But it's appreciated. Like, we don't know what happened to this man. Good bit Chandelier. Good bit Frosty Snowman. He's had too much of them kids using his fucking hat. Summoning him for them songs and shit. Just for that guy in the outfit. I don't know which guy. But some dude in the outfit. A-W-F-U-T. Outfit. In that outfit, just trying to steal the hat because of its magical powers and shit. Why? They, you know what? Why did any? Why does the magic ever come out the hat and just land on the fucking snow? Has anyone ever thought about that? Because like, if, if the magic's in the hat, that means it's probably like dust or some shit, right? Because they showed it all the time. Uh, me as a millennial, remember growing up watching them like fucking like um, stop mo clay motion. Is that is what claymation is that what it is? stop claymation or something like that? Whereas like or even the actual cartoons because there was actually both when I was growing up. Those were fucking uh, lovely to watch. Growing up as a kid, and there wasn't anything on for kids except for Saturdays. Very limited, but good for us, right? But it was like there's always magic in his hat. Why did not ever get on the fucking snow? No, why was any of that magic ever rubbed onto snow? And then when it melted, made the ground magical? Like some Indian burial ground shit? Like kids just go playing on it and all of a sudden they just conjure a fucking demon. 
Well, maybe that's why they left it out. But still, it's just like, why didn't it get on the snow? What? Who's trauma dumping on Elmo? What? Hold on. The trauma dump was so depressing, even the president responded. S is for sadness. What the fuck? So apparently Elmo is depressed. Not my problem anyway. Um, but yeah, why did that, why, why did the, the ground ever become a magical demon hellhole a vortex portal door circle? Escalator? You know, like, I, 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 like, questions I ask now. Well, honestly, no, I've had that question since I was, like, fucking ten, actually. Dad popped me in the mouth for that because I was talking witchcraft. I didn't know it was witchcraft at the time. I was just asking questions, like, what if they could bring the snow to life? Why does it, it become, like, magic water? Wouldn't that be the thing for eternal life since, like, it could bring fucking snow to a sentient bee? Wash your mouth! Like, oh... I'm just saying, we could have just taken that magic and that and just stuck it on his dad's head. And it, it, like, it would have been fine. That's, that's, that's all I'm saying right now. Suspect is now in custody. Why was he uh, on the cop car? Take a look car. behind me. Uh, oh, it is still a very active scene. Police responded to the 100 block of Upper Orchard Drive tonight around man. 7 o'clock for the report of a death. This looks like Everman hybrid shit, but with actual peop other people in it. Which is weird, because in Everman Hybrid, everybody who shows up, that's just part of the story, not realizing that they're in a story. But, you know. but, it, but it just gives that feel. It's just like, there's something in that house. I know I don't need to see because it's not good for me, but I kind of want to see what it is. But that's the best kind of horror. You know something happened, but you don't get to know what it was. But you know that if you were to look at it, you're exact, I, I, reacting the exact same way someone else. It, 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 it's the weirdest thing about horror, you know. Um, for someone like me who's gone through something, horror is very relaxing for me. You know, because I get to see someone else go through some really horrible traumatic experiences. And I just get to observe it and be like, oh, this is what it feels like. Oh, he's panicking. Oh, my God. Is he going to go mad? No. But in reality, when you truly think about it. A lot of stuff that's in horror, your logical side is not actually going to work. You know what I mean? Like, there are certain responses. The human instinct is stronger than what you're thinking. What you think don't matter once you actually react to something. And your reactions, your instinct can overtake um, your thought process, your logic. You know, that's why you got to put yourself in, like, life-threatening situations over and over again. That way you get to sensitize to that shit. Um, but if you're not somebody who who is regularly fucking your life up, it's a little hard, you know? Uh, if you're sheltered, you wouldn't know what it's like out in the world. And then you'll be, like, one of them people who, who are a carer and who want to go out and be like, It should be this way violating our space you can't do that to me damn straight said who that who said that no one said that exactly fo nobody said that shit but this is one of those things where it's like it's not a horror story it's not an arg it's real fucking life and unfortunately those stories take from situations like this and it's just so much more It's a lot more terrifying knowing I recognize how this is supposed to be. But none of those people, not, this man isn't coming back. He's literally what stories are inspired from. Hell, there was one, like, Mighty Max, for anyone who's ever watched that cartoon, that was my shit as a kid. I didn't understand how the fuck I found this, but it was on USA when they played cartoons as well. Summertime was the best time for me because summertime USA played cartoons in the morning till like 10 o'clock or so, I think. So I got Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, Mighty Max, Reboot first showed up there. I remember that. That might be a Mandela thing now, though. But Reboot, the cartoon, first showed up there. And ever since I fucking watched Reboot... 
Life is literally imitated that fucking cartoon like a motherfucker, and I can, and I've never been able to unsee it. It's just like wow, hexadecimal was absolutely right for losing her fucking shit because all they did was bring in even even worse thing. That was not a virus. It was absolutely a destructive corruption of of the system. But you know, I'm I'm my thing is with the Mighty Max thing, right? There was an exact scene where, like, uh, what was it, Norman, his dad, had faced this, uh, axeman. And there was a point when, like, they came to a village where the axeman had bitten. This guy had been sealed for ages. And, and, like, of course, humans, with their constructions and technology, fucked that up and dug him right the fuck up out the tree that he was sealed in, right? Went on a rampage. This young boy, Mighty Max, who's the hero of the story, wanted so badly to go into a door that looked just like this one, with the door gate open. And he was just like, it's okay, I've seen it just like in the movies. And his friend Virgil, the bird prophet, I can't, I, like, I think he was a, he was a hawk. Actually, I need to find that because there's actually an episode that's really important because because like you got to learn the music, you have to remember every planet plays a song. But that's beside the point. Um, but what I'm trying to say is the bird dude Virgil was like, this is not a horror. This is not a video game. This is real life, and you do not need to go in there and look at it. So, for anybody who's into shit like this, like me, this is not, like, you know, this is not something that is for entertainment. This is a sad event. This is a terrible event. This is an event that I don't know if it could have been prevented, because I don't know much about it, because I just now found this. Oh, this happened. This was at least published yesterday. Hot damn. Mm. But this is a tragedy, that's all. And what they found inside was disturbing. Oh, I bet you. Police found a man beheaded in the bathroom of his home. Investigators have been on scene ever since. We are told by police sources they put out a flash to be on the lookout for a 33-year-old male driving a 2009 Toyota who may be armed with a 9mm handgun. And within just the last 45 minutes, a person was found, a suspect, and it is the son of the victim here, was found near Fort Indian Town Gap, Lebanon County, nearly two hours away, that person, the son of the victim, has been arrested. I'm, I'm not gonna comment on the manner of death right now. I'll just say that he's deceased. Um, there's a person of interest. That person's located and detained. And I think the neighborhood can, can rest easy because I think they were a little uneasy for a while before they knew where the person of interest was. Back out here live, Middletown Township Police. You see investigators here. They have been talking with witnesses, uh, potential witnesses in this very uh, close-knit neighborhood. We talked with a few neighbors here. This couple who lives here have been lived here for years. We are still awaiting a confirmation. Let's go back, back out to the, the crime scene here at the house here on the 100 block of Upper Orchard Road. Uh, crime scene, but an apparent beheading inside the home here in Middletown Township. And those same police sources are telling us uh, that a video was posted on social media of uh, right afterwards of this crime. Uh, I did actually uh, view the first frames of that video. It is absolutely gruesome and disturbing. Police say they are looking at that. Uh, but right now, a suspect is in custody, the son of the victim here in a gruesome beheading here in Middletown Township. Chris, who posted that video? Well, it was posted by the suspect himself, that 33-year-old. 30, uh, uh, honestly, Sheba, I, I could only get through uh, not even three seconds of oh, the video that goes on something uh, before awful. I had to com. turn it off. That, it was, that, it was, that, that's going on somethingawful.com. That, that's going on somethingawful.com. Let me tell you something. There are places on the internet where you can find shit. It's just uh, we've all gotten used to YouTube so long. Uh, only the elders of the internet remember the old sites. Only the elders on the internet know where to... If you go to 4chan, someone's going to tell you exactly where you want to find it. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably on 4chan. If not Kiwi Farms. Not 9gag. Something awful. Almost definitely! Everything is on some 
something awful. But there are other websites, which I will not mention, that I could, I could easily go and watch that if I really, really wanted to. Um, but I would tell you all not to do that. Don't do that. Just, just Don't do that. Just because I told you where to go does not mean that it is a good idea to do that. Because there are some things out there. Um, once you see it, it's going to bother you. And I'm telling you right now, once again, if you go looking at it, looking for it, you're going to find it. But it is not a horror thing. It is real fucking life. Your body is going... Like, like, fuck what you think that you're going to be able to handle. Your fucking physiology of your body, or whatever it is I'm trying to say. Your actual physical body is going to know what the fuck it's looking at. Like, the brain can differentiate between real and fake, even if you think that it can't. So, just because you think that you can sit through and watch some gruesome scene on a, on a horror movie does not mean that it's going to work the exact same way when you see an actual human body. Do you understand me? Um, you go looking for that. That's your trauma, and no one deserves to hear you whine about it. If you're gonna put, if you're gonna put yourself through that kind of lesson, nobody needs to hear about that. That's your problem. That's your business. No one cares. Okay, let's look at something else. I want to know, if, uh, like, video, and this is within. He is now in hell for eternity as a traitor to his country. It is said that those who commit treason and betray others occupy the lowest pits of hell for all time. Just a minute. Okay, so can I, can I, before this motherfucker starts talking, right, can I just say this motherfucker, there's something wrong with his goddamn teeth, and that right there tells me that something happened to him. As a lay, I'm starting to think that teeth are very extremely important in a spiritual sense. Way more than what I realize. Now it's got me looking at this motherfucker's teeth being like, mm. also watch your ears. I'm not turning this down, but it is loud, so um, brace yourselves, headphones, folk. Wait, what? Did I know somewhere I'm not supposed to be American-wise? Yeah, I, I think I'm somewhere I'm not supposed to be, so... Yeah, that's something. That's something. That's... That is old as fuck. This is something that I saw on something awful, too. This is something I actually saw on something awful. I'm surprised it's up here. And I've seen shit like this in real life, so it don't bother me not one bit no more. But it's gonna bother some of y'all if you see it. Yeah, they're not kidding. They're not kidding. That little boy right there, he's the one. Like, I'm, I'm kind of happy they didn't show that. But uh, yeah, that dude going, he's considered a traitor. He's willing to go. There, he knows there's nothing he can do about it. They end up having a uh, a bunch of women. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. You see all these females here? All these women right here are, uh, even though this man is tied down and shit, they're going to physically hold his body down while that young man saws his head off. First time I saw this, fucked me up. And then I saw it in real life. That fucked me up some more. I'd rather not have anybody else see, have that all fucked up, but this is the real thing. It's, it's, it's fucked. It's fucked. Let's try rant, because I do want to hear what this dude. Oh, he's got an anti-Biden rant. Well, three years ago, someone took out his son and daughter, so. Mm. 
Let's see if this tells us more. This is CNN, so. We do have breaking news just into CNN. We want to warn you, this is very disturbing. This is a Pennsylvania today. man was charged with murder and abuse of a corpse. Oh, that's probably his dad's police chair. He posted a YouTube video in which he claims to show his father's decapitated head while ranting about the Biden administration and the border crisis. Wee! His video circulated online for hours. He shows his dad's head? Well, I mean, I guess we could sit there and say that that's mental health. I guess it's easier than, you know, dictating what it is, is. For being taken down, the father of the individual was a federal employee. His son called him a traitor. With us now, former FBI Deputy Director and CNN Senior Law Enforcement Analyst Andrew McCabe and CNN's Danny Freeman. Danny, I want to start with you. This is breaking right now. What more do we know about what actually happened here? Yeah, Phil, and just to state the obvious, obviously, as you said, this is an incredibly disturbing story. I watched part of this video last night, and it's one of those things that it's an image you just can't get out of your head. Um, yesterday, this is when this all started, uh, this video was posted on YouTube. The suspect here is uh, Justin Moan. He's 32 years old. He's from uh, Middletown Township in Pennsylvania. That's in Bucks County. Uh, and as you said, this video uh, contains a number of rantings. Based Honestly, he lo his, his face, especially his eyes, what, the way he looks kind of high. He looks like this dude named Ronnie I dated once. Ronnie, you're a lying sack of shit. I just want you to know that if you ever find one of my videos. And I hope it's this one. I just want to let you know. You're a lying sack of shit. That's all I want to say. You're Like, we're cool. But I want to make sure you and, uh, and the rest of the world knows. You can't tell the truth for nothing. No, and, and then, like, you want to add, like, and then, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, no. Kisses, but you're lying sack of shit. That's basically about the Biden administration, about the border, at one point even declaring himself the acting president uh, under martial law. Uh, but then there's this horrific moment when he appears to show the head of his uh, deceased father on camera, uh, saying that his father was a traitor to the country because he was a federal employee. Uh, now, that video, like you said, Phil, stayed up for a long time, eventually later into the evening, uh, YouTube uh, was able to take it down. Even X uh, seemed to be taking down videos that people were just reposting and reposting. Uh, but then in the evening, uh, police were able to apprehend uh, Mr. Moan uh, about 100 miles away. Ah, question. I'm going to pose to all of y'all, right? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Is it good that people want to show off exactly what happened with the head and all and inspire copycats to do the same thing? Or is it a bad thing that people want to censor that so people don't know what people will actually do in the real world and how monstrous we actually are to each other? Hmm? Yeah. Questions, comments, and concerns. Because I got questions all goddamn day about shit like this. Because this is one of those, like, a, a double-edged swords. This is like, yeah, it's fucked up. He's showing what he did to his dad. But it's like, uh... We're also a, 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 a group who's kind of scared of death. Like, it's crazy. Like, you ever notice that on, like, television shows where it's, like, regular shootings, like, detective shows, thrillers, action adventure shit like that? You don't see too much blood? You ever, you ever notice that on regular daytime television? They don't show it that much? If you notice that even in movies, like, they don't want to, like, uh, like, anybody remember RoboCop 2? Where they cut off his limbs? I do. I was like five, six years old watching that shit. And I had no idea what I was watching. And I was still captivated like... What people will do? It, it was the, one of the most demented things I had ever seen as a child. But I saw a whole bunch of other demented things. Because I grew up in the 80s and early 90s. And parents didn't give a fuck as long as you didn't run in and out the house. But don't you dare do something that they told you not to fucking do. Because somehow they always... Like, you know, parents nowadays are amazing. Because they're like, I can't be with my child 24 hours a day. Where When I was growing up, my parents were God. So I had a fear of them 24 hours a day. So I didn't dare fuck up if I thought I would get caught fucking up. And I always got caught, except when I learned how not to. But I was in teenage years. Don't tell my parents that, though. Because that's not necessary. The point is, uh, I don't know. I don't know actually where I was going with that. I have no idea where I was going with that.
Oh yeah, like the whole censorship thing. That was where I was going. I don't. I like. I just don't know how to feel about this because it's just like, on one hand, we should all be very aware of um. What human beings have and can and will do to each other. Like, you know, any of y'all ever looked up Chinese and Japanese history? You know how the Japanese uh, occupied China? You ever looked at that, that up? Yeah, yeah, like you know, if you, if you, did you know that they used to bury their the Chinese who they uh, oppressed alive? Did you know that they used to bury them alive? They did all sorts of fucking things. There's a whole bunch of horrible things. Hell, the Coganese massacres, if a slave didn't make enough, uh, enough of a quota, they would cut the limbs off of their children, leave them the limbs, and then, like, slaughter their children in exchange for, like, maybe a boar's head or something. Or, or worse, just, like, do other horrible things to them. Or make clothing out of the children's uh, uh, skin and then give it to the parent as a present. We can thank the Morris for that, though, I guess. But that's but the, yeah, the, the, like there, human history. There's so many horrible things. This right here is horrible in itself. There is no comparison. In the end, it's just nothing but torturing people until they can't feel it anymore. It's really like it's really, but it's just like, do we keep hiding that? But then again, if we continue to allow it to be shown, does this inspire people to act out in the same way? Because, you know, um, most people don't get into something until, like, they know it exists. Most people don't know something exists until it's either introduced or they happenstance upon it, right? And it's like with teaching or you're going across the world and you find, like, ruins and shit and you decide to go exploring. Uh, urbexing, I think it's called urbex or whatever. Uh, where you go explore abandoned places and shit. Like, you don't know what's there until you either are told about it, shown it, or you go explore and find it for yourself, right? This exposure can easily cause people to want to emulate this because then they find out, oh, humans can actually do this kind of shit to each other. But I feel as though limiting such information completely without at least stifling... Um, the entire complexity of it, meanwhile, not even introducing a moral dilemma in even going about doing such a crime as this, it's kind of lackluster and all it does is starve people into wanting to know more and maybe even want to be curious enough to try it themselves just because they heard about it. Human creatures are very finicky things because, like, you can tell them yes and they'll do it, you can tell them no and they'll still do it, just in an entirely different way than you were hoping they would not. Or worse, the way you never thought of. From his home in Bucks County in Fort Indian Town Gap in Pennsylvania. Again, that's 100 miles uh, to the west of where he was and where this crime is uh, alleged to have been uh, committed. Now, uh, I will say, uh, just to give you a sample of one of the things that uh, Mr. Moan said, and I'm quoting here from the video, he said in part, the federal government of America has declared war on its citizens and the American states... America is rotting from the inside out as far left woke mobs rampage our once prosperous city. Now, Phil, the thing that law enforcement are trying to make clear at this moment is that this suspect is in custody. The threat to the larger community is over right now, but truly a community on edge, you can imagine, after hearing this news, we're going to hear a press conference uh, from the Bucks County District Attorney later on today on this subject. Andy, this video was, it references President Biden. It was up on um, YouTube, as I understand it, for several hours before it was taken down. I would down. like to hear what the Talk fuck about the said. picture here, if you could. Sure, yeah. So the bigger picture is, is uh, extremely concerning, I think, as do most security officials as we go into what will be an incredibly heated uh, political um, season. You know, obviously, this, this guy, we don't know... We're waiting on additional facts from the investigation to understand his uh, specific motives. You can make some assumptions based on his claims in the video uh, that he's been motivated by by politics. Um, but, you know, I think that the bigger picture here is 
uh, that this is another example of the fact that uh, the kind of overheated, deeply politicized, extreme rhetoric that you hear sometimes in this country from politically elected officials and leaders mm -hmm. actually has an impact on these marginalized people with extremist views who might be because of their mental illness or their disturbance or their uh, unbelief. Marginalized? He's a goddamn white man and he just took his white ass dad out. What are you talking about? Look at that house. It's nice. His dad's chair is sitting right there in the living room. I can tell it's his chair because it's got a little pillow right there with a little indention that tells me it's for his back because he just can't sit right all the time anymore. My dad does the same thing with his pillows, you know, because he's that old and shit. Um, what's this marginalized shit? Who am marginalized about it? He, he looks like he's in a decent home. He's 33 fucking years old. It sounds like all he does is stay online and, and talk politics with fucking nerds all goddamn day is what it is. And then he went too far. Does he have mental illness? Sure. But whose fault is that? Not his dad's. Not the people he was fucking listening to. This is the same argument as when, like, the fucking government was trying to say the video games needed, like, ratings because it was causing violence in people. Even though people were beheading each other well before video games ever faint, fucking came the fuck out. It's the same fucking argument. Just because he's talking politics does not mean that that was an excuse for him to cut his dad's head off. Are you saying that if Trump were in, in office, because of his political beliefs, he probably wouldn't have done this. But because Biden's up there, he has a whole eye on a Biden rant. And now because his, it, Biden's in charge, he thinks he's his dad's boss. Which is like, okay, so you're going to take it out on the employees. That's fucking nice, Karen. You didn't even ask for the goddamn manager, but you know, whatever. But but like, like if we're doing the whole like violence is, it, is caused by video games shit. Is what this is, which it makes no sense. It doesn't matter what the politics is. Politics has always been around. People have done crazier things for for less shit. It just so happens his trigger was Biden, politics, the internet. Dad has a job. That's probably what it is. I don't even know if this dude's employed or not, honestly. But then again, this is up in PA, and there's something wrong with fucking PA. There's something more wrong in PA than there is in West Virginia. That's for fucking sure. The motherfuckers body slam people. They don't hit him in the face first. That's what I was told. They'll just pick you the fuck up and throw you on the like, just throw you on the fucking ground. They won't even throw a fist, which is just that's just that's just unnerving right there. That means they charge right at you, hoping to make contact, touching body with body for a perfect caress for a pile driver. And and you know it's just. I don't know, there's something wrong with PA. The fact that there are still Amish people up in PA is just, that's just enough for me. That's just enough for me, what is this? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we're in Leon talked about this? Oh my god, that showed up on the news stuff too. Holy crap, this is all at the same time. Holy shit. And this has popped up in my shit. Does he ever actually say something? Does he ever actually say something? Oh, here's one from an hour ago. What can you tell us about Criminal that? complaint says Justin Moan posted a video to YouTube after the killing titled Moan's Militia, Call to Arms for American Patriots. He was holding his father's severed head, stating he eternity. is now in hell for eternity. The AP reports that Moan described his father, a federal employee of 20 years, as a traitor to his country. We found Mo. So, like, his dad's been doing the same shit for 20 years, and all of a sudden he... Okay, but, but you benefited from that, from the time you were fucking 13 to now. Stupid motherfucker. Also authored a number of books and embraced violent anti-government rhetoric in online writings. The books sold on Amazon, like you see here, but have... Oh, he's one of them. Look, I'll, uh, how are you going to sell Kindle books all for zero? The pink. I can't. Poems I wrote while stoned. A collection of poems. They will burn this book. I've actually seen that one. 
But I didn't pick it up. Good for me. The Punishing. Kingdom of Darkness. Second Messiah. Can't read that. Can't read that. That's way too small. Since been removed from the site. Good. Moan also published an online pamphlet in 2020 in which he said that people born in or after 1991, his birth year, should carry out what he termed a bloody revolution. He also complained at length about a lawsuit. I, you know what? He's not part of the millennials. Like, like Gen Z can have him. Gen Z can have him since he's doing this Tide Pod eating shit. He needs to get his Team Mystic bullshit the fuck away from the rest of us. Just go. Just go. We don't need this. We I don't need this. Like, 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 like why? The foolishness of men. I swear. People will call on violence not realizing you get what you give. It's like Goku in Dragon Ball Z. You know, he died. And they uh, they came after his son because he was the only other powerful person out there. But he came back to life. And all of a sudden, they were just like, oh, we can use your energy instead. But I guess they didn't know that he was really there. But it didn't really matter because I got his son. But either way, all throughout Goku's life, he had to fight stronger people. One after another after another. Which he loved the fighting. But after a while, even he got tired of it. Which is stupid, because it was just like, I thought it was in your sand blood to, like, the fight. Isn't that why they called you fucking monkey? Like, there's a whole thing about that, but we're not going into that today. The point is, though, what was it that my one history professor taught me? You know, like, um, one day, you know, so you're like, you you got a neighbor, you and them, they get a fence. So you're just like, oh, so you get your own fence and you have a painted fence. You're like, oh, so they end up like getting the camera. You're like, oh, so you get a few cameras. They're like, oh, so they get a dog. Y'all, I'll get two dogs. Oh, they got a dog. I'm going to get a knife. Oh, they got a knife. I got a rapier. I got two rapiers. Well, I got a gun. I got two guns. I got a cannon. I got landmines, motherfucker. Come over yonder. After a while, like, it's, it's so much competition. Eventually, that powder keg is going to blow. You know? Everyone wants violence. Everyone wants retribution. Should we be allowed to talk shit about each other about yesterday? Of course. I think that should be absolutely allowed because it's necessary. Um, but to the point where you desire to kill and then keep what you kill is like, um, exactly, sir. It's too much, I feel. Demanding way too much. Anyway, you're, you're like, yeah, like people expect a revolution, but most of these motherfuckers won't work the jobs that my, the immigrants work. You know what I mean? It's just like, you all need to, like, you, like who's going to do this battling? If I remember correctly, last year there were a whole bunch of cops lined up to go into a school to save lives. And they all stood outside like cowards because of orders. They wouldn't even allow regular parents to go get the kids, but they let politicians and important people get the kids. But there should be a revolution. And my phone is just going off being like, fuck yeah. That he lost and encourage the assassination of family members and public officials. We have reached out to the FBI to see if Moan had been flagged prior to the homicide and were referred to the Bucks County District Attorney's Office. NBC 10 in Philadelphia says neighbors in Levittown described Moan as a regular walker in the development, someone they recognized, and weird. Susan Shapiro, yeah. WGAL News 8. To be fair, he is a weird-looking motherfucker strong beliefs in some of these things. This one is, or is that, no, this is ABC. Tonight, charges have been filed in a gruesome killing in Bucks County. A man was found decapitated in a home. Police took his son into custody 100 miles away, and they believe there was more to this murder than just a family grudge. Action News reporter Corey Davis is live in Middletown Township with more on this story, now gaining national attention, Corey. Matt, good morning. This is a disturbing story, and I just spoke with one of the Middletown Township captains out here who tells me 32-year-old like Justin... He, he looks like he is not ready for this. He's been practicing, but he's been forgetting shit this entire time, but he got it now. He got it. I'm like, fuck, I needed this job. 
phone was arraigned by video. He faced a judge by video and was denied bail earlier this morning. We are right now here at the scene where he lived. This is the 100 block of Upper Orchard Drive in Middletown Township. Want to show you a new photo there that we have of Justin Moan. He is accused of not only beheading his father, but also posting the video of him committing the act to YouTube. Moan is facing first degree murder as well as another charge that includes abuse of a corpse. Take a look at this video, a map of where he was located. We're told that he was arrested at Fort Indian Gap in Lebanon County, about 100 miles away. There, there is a National Guard training base there, and on that, on the base's website, it's referred to as America's Fort busiest Indian National Town Guard training Gap. center. It is unclear why Moan was in that area. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. They will go after the Redskins and the Braves, but Indian Town Gap. For Indian Town Oh, you know what? This is in PA, so I don't know why I'm acting like I'm surprised. But how the fuck did he end up there? Area. Middletown Township Police say this took a, a collaborative effort to track him down. I think the neighborhood can, can rest easy because I think they were a little uneasy for a while before they knew where the person of interest was. And so I'll walk you through this. This all started around 7 o'clock last night after a gruesome discovery inside the home along the 100 block of Upward Orchard Drive here in Middletown Township. Initial dispatch reports saying that a man in his 60s was found beheaded and covered in blood. Police have not released the name of that victim but said the father and son lived inside the home. The, uh, the YouTube video so showing the decapitation was viewed at least 5,000 times before being taken down. In that video, Action News discovered that... Girl, he called his dad a whole traitor and he was living with his fucking dad after he'd been working as a federal worker for 20 fucking years. Are you fucking for real? This 33-year-old man's writing like books for free on Amazon.com calling for a bloody revolution. Isn't going out there to start it himself, but he'll take it out on his dad. His elderly father, who, who spent the last 20 years supporting him, but he's a traitor, and, he th and, that's the, and that's the thanks he got from his child? Mm. But we want to talk about millennials, kids! I'm just, I'm just... Waiting out here. You know, I don't have my kids because they passed away. But it's stories like this that really freak me the fuck out. I have relatives who are close to almost as fucked up as this individual when it comes to their parents. Makes me wonder if my kids would have given that much of a fuck about me. Would have made me wonder if I raised them right if they did this shit to me. That's for damn sure. I'd be questioning the fuck out of myself. All sorts of ways. All sorts of Bone ways. Bone referred to himself as a militia leader and called his father a traitor to the country for being a federal employee for 20 years. Moan spoke about President Joe Biden and threatened multiple federal agencies in that YouTube video. And also, too, we've learned through court documents that his preliminary or his uh, preliminary hearing will be held next Thursday on February 8th. We will definitely stay on top of the latest developments over the course of the morning and have reached out to investigators about whether he could face additional charges. Reporting live here in Middletown Township, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. Yeah, a lot to I bet you his dad, hush, I bet you his dad, um, I bet you his father voted for Biden. Mm-hmm. Peter Mott. Grant. I just want to hear him talk. What? Peter Mon? That's not his name, is it? God damn it. Uh, 
uh, driven to, to embark in uh, acts of violence. You know, some of the things that he has said on the video allegedly referring to woke mobs and things like that, that's not dissimilar from rhetoric that you hear from some politicians that we've heard recently. Oh, God damn it. I've lost it all. Hold on. I'm going to history. Tonight, charges have been filed in a gruesome killing in Bucks County. A man was found decapitated in a home. I'll show you a new photo there that we have of Justin Moan. He is accused of not... Justin, that's what father. it is. Justin, that's where I fucked up. I just want to hear him go off. Why does that look sad? Over migrant conspiracy? Hmm. An American man has been charged with murder and abuse of a corpse after brandishing the decapitated head of his own father in a ranting online video. 32-year-old Justin Moan posted a video to his YouTube channel um, stating the federal government and Biden have been a distortion, the extreme uh, focused idea that somebody needs to be eliminated. He looks like a whole fucking be, problem. Um, destroyed. Um, and perhaps with a level of sight of Look at that! Look at that picture! Oh, my female red flags just went all the way up and they became snakes. Like, like, hiss. I'm glad it matches his complexion. But there's something wrong with this image and I'm not quite sure what it is. It's like Roach and Sir and, and Christian Sound are dead or whatever the fuck their names were. Which enables people to carry out um, such brutal acts uh, without very much kind of uh, empathy or actually a flicker of emotion uh, across the chap's face, um, as you probably would have seen if you saw the original YouTube video. Um, he's he's held up his father's decapitated head, which he's chopped off himself, and he's not bothered, really. Yeah, that's great. I just want to hear him talk! Migrant rant. Son beheads father rant. Oh, dear sweet baby Jesus. I think Ruin Leon. Yeah, I think. Let's see what he says. Maybe he has it. Of course, subscribe. Let's say you. I choose to believe in coincidences because in the last video I uploaded, somebody left a comment saying that I'm slowly losing my sanity, and I had to respond to them to let them know that all I need to do is play a couple rounds of Call of Duty and Poppy's Playtime Chapter 3, and I'll be completely fine. Poppy's Playtime? <laughs> you need to run? Run where? <laughs> because it doesn't help that I'm watching like a spooky eh, caught on vi video shadow people for the last like week and a half. Damn it. I, see I choose to follow the words of advice from Dave Chappelle when he said that we need to let some air out of the ball. Constantly consuming all these layers of negativity could be entertaining for some, could be something of enjoyment for others, but to me, I don't want to do it. I'll give you about 5 to 15 minutes on any given day, and that's pretty much it. The rest of my time, I'm spending cooking something, taking a shit, playing with some lotion, putting garlic powder on my knees, or playing a video game. I choose to enjoy a little bit of my day. But why the garlic powder? Whatever, I don't care.
throughout the week and month and years and not just constantly be riddled with all this form of negativity from all these stupid people and the stupid things they say. And I believe that is a healthy option to not want to sit here and belittle myself with everything stupid and negative. And the alternative for a few individuals is to apparently decapitate their father's head while spouting a bunch of political beliefs about the world and blaming others for why the downfall of society is coming. Father, he is now in hell for eternity as a traitor to his country. It is said that those who commit treason and betray others occupy the lowest pits of hell for all time. The man facing charges accused of beheading his father and then posting online. Let's get right out to Hank with what we're... Lord help me if I ever talk that way about my father, because I don't, uh, mm, 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 nope, nope, nope. Learning and what we know. Well, yeah, good morning, Karen. We're learning at this hour that charges have absolutely been filed overnight. Uh, 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 pardon me, 33-year-old, uh, uh, there you go, sir, 33-year-old uh, uh, Justin Moan of Middletown has been charged with the murder of his this father, as well as the abuse of a corpse. Uh, it's confirmed at this hour. The victim was beheaded by the suspect, guys, and he was caught last night about 10 o'clock out near Fort Indian Town Gap near uh, Lebanon. But right now it's better uh, to put it in the words of Middletown uh, Police Captain Pete Feeney. Uh, Captain, thank you so much and uh, uh, acknowledged uh, you've been on for a long time. You are exhausted. You told me a little while ago uh, that the suspect, Mr. Moan, is on his way back but not back here. Uh, yeah, what's going to happen to him now? So, yeah, he's, he's going to jail, back from Greg. Indian, what Indian the fuck? Gap by our officers. Uh, he'll go to our station, he'll be processed, fingerprinted, photographed, um, and then he'll be transported up to Bucks County Correctional yeah, Facility. Yeah, he's going to jail. Um, as he was arraigned at 4 a.m. by oh video, uh, the judge denied him bail, so he'll be. They're just showing the legs with the gurney. It's actually way more disturbing than what I thought it'd be. Just some things in real life they still fuck me up to this day, no matter how old I get. We going up to Bucks County Correctional Facility uh, until the next step in the process. We stopping through here in Middletown, drilling really more clerical than Why anything else, just there? to keep things right. Correct. We just have to do, you know, fingerprints and, and mugshot and some last-minute paperwork. Is that where uh, the bathroom before is? Before he goes up to the prison. Yeah, and Karen and I had spoken with Captain Feeney a little while ago when we were talking about it, and I asked him to confirm the actual beheading, and he goes, "Well." It's kind of out there, right? And he was referring to a, a YouTube video uh, that the suspect, uh, Mr. Moan, put out where he literally showed the victim's head in the video. Um, so that's troubling, uh, obviously, for a hundred different reasons. Um, talk to me a little bit about, you all don't have this kind of thing happen in Middletown ever. No, not at all. I mean, we, we there was a case. I mean, <laughs> he'll never be less than zero now. That's for fucking sure. That's for fucking sure. I don't want to Like, yeah. Like, is there anybody else? Is there anybody else who doesn't like where they're from? In this some bitch. Because that's all I'm getting anymore from folks like this. They just don't like where they came from. That's all, that's all it is. It's like nobody likes where they came from no more. Nobody wants to be who they actually is anymore. They want to be something else. He used to be Messiah, but all he is is a murderer. It's only a homicide like, like there is anywhere, um, but they're few and far between. It's a very safe community. Um, you know, again, we do occasionally have a, a homicide but it, it's it's very rare. Once every couple of years, maybe, um, and and an incident like this, you know, this degree, um, I've I've never seen it happen here before. And, and Captain V, I know you don't have the whole logbook in front right. of you, but he is not uh, the suspect here is not known to you all. Is this is not a house that you all would buy every week for some kind of a trouble or another? This is a quiet individual, quiet family. Yeah, and not and not familiar to us at all. I mean, 
anything like this. There you go. Captain Feeney, thank you so much for your time. Um, and he'll be back through here uh, to be charged. Oh, and on, evil people, and they're inspiring all this, or the right is inspiring all this type of hatred. And In the beheading clip, he rants about taxes, declaring that the economy is near destruction and most Americans can no longer afford the American dream. Everyone always says dreams, but they want to ignore the nightmares or dreams, too. I, I, like, have you ever wondered that? Because I sure have. It's just like, bro, like... Na -na -na -na. Na -na 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 I'm just saying, you know. Um, nightmares or dreams, too. Not all nightmares. Not all nightmares. Mo Moan went on to say that he was, off he was offering a $1 million bounty to anyone who could kill off... Top officials including FBI Director Christopher Wray, Attorney General Merrick Garland, and former Attorney Gen General Bill Barr. Not Bill Burr, even though that would have been hilarious, but Bill Barr. Uh, uh, he said there was a globalist and communist plot against the United States. Not states, just the one state. Before ranting about the federal government and holding up his dad's head in a silver bucket. Jesus Christ. Mons Rat continued addressing the U.S. postal workers, journalists, federal debt, and the Federal Reserve, the border crisis, Antifa, and the woke agenda. He watches too much television. All this to justify a guy decapitating his father and showing everybody. He said the traitorous Biden regime wanted to send America's military overseas to fight for Ukraine and die in a Russian winter. Moan ranted against tax evading big tech companies and those behind the U.S. prison system. Moan railed against a network of evil he said was plaguing America. He claimed to have worked as a contractor for Microsoft and saw how the company was evading billions of dollars in taxes. He claimed he whistle blew to the IRS about five years ago, but they simply looked the other way. Moan said he had uncovered a scheme while living in Colorado whereby the companies created a constant level of unemployment and a constant level of homelessness and a constant level of crime to fill up prisons. Moan said, when I filed a complaint to the FBI of this label racket, they showed up at my door to threaten me with for something. anyone who's willing to see it on YouTube. Arrest. And yes, it was on YouTube for a considerable amount of time for anyone to be fucking aware of it. And thankfully, just like the girl who wanted to cut chickens' heads off, it's been taken down. It doesn't need to be on the internet. You can have your opinions about how society sucks and how politics is bad and how everybody's corrupt, but you don't need to be killing your father for it. You don't need to be showing me that you did it because I'll believe you if you say it and I'll call 911 to investigate and that's as best as I can do. You cannot allow yourself to be consumed and riddled with all this stupid shit and guess what you could talk about how there's immigrants or migrants all around you and you're offended in the footage mom claims he is the commander of america's network of militias as he rants against migrants the biden administration lgbtq community black lives matter and far left woke mobs while calling for the slaughter and public execution for fbi agents irs employees u.s marshals Federal judges, border control officials, and more for betraying your country. Yes, let's get rid of all the people in charge of the structure of the country because they're obviously traitors, not the people who are trying to take them out. You know, let's get rid of these people who are actually servants of, of, of the system of this country. Uh, let's not take out the people who are ready to war and take out their own citizens for political purpose. That's not traitorous. I'm sorry, but like, the, but the but the soldier in me is coming out, and this person just needs to go away. They need to go away. They're they're absolutely a traitor speaking up on this. Like, I know our system's corrupt, but it's nowhere near as corrupt as most many other countries. No matter what we're trained to believe, um, until you actually step outside this country and go live somewhere else, you have no idea. If you are an American citizen, you have absolutely no idea. How privileged you absolutely are. Because there are some countries where if you scream, you'll go to jail for six months. 
Especially if you're a woman. They'll even make it up and lie on you. They don't give a fuck. Like, who's going to listen to you? Like, you're a woman. Of, of course, you're going to want to argue. Uh, silly women. Just like a woman. Ah, ah, ah. Like, because that's what they do. They, they don't, that, that's what they do. That's what they do. That's what they do. This dude's a whole ass traitor. But wants to call people who actually are in uh, government positions traitors. It's kind of weird when you really think about it. I think like, don't you think it's really weird how there's so much propaganda talking about America, but we ignore what other countries have done? You remember when I mentioned how the Japanese used to bury the Chinese alive, but we're not mentioning that? Or the Congonese? Or how about the Pegasus scandal that I mentioned prior? Isn't it weird how our own citizens um, hate this country, but we ignore what other countries have done to their citizens? Isn't it weird how everybody ignores what other countries have done to their own but want to pay attention to what we do, considering we're a mostly isolationist country. I'm going to say it again. We don't live over there. We live on this side of the planet. Take your time thinking about that. I'm just saying, like, I'm from here. I ain't got to move nowhere. Will I? Probably, but you know by that and you feel concerned about that you killed your father just for you to end up in jail and get piped by a black dude who has a big dick congratulations you played yourself at this what? point i've at least shown you three to four screenshots of articles talking about what this guy was ranting about in his video but i'm going to read this out loud for anybody in the back who's thinking to themselves well maybe he has somewhat of a point okay. just so that you can understand you are potentially raising an eyebrow and siding with a guy who decapitated his head and I quote, the deeply disturbed Mon, by the way, terrible name, said Satan wants America to fall so he can unleash his plan on the world. Mon then proclaimed, I and many other leaders know how to fix America, but we have to fight for it. He said many within political parties saw him as the best candidate for president before the 2020 election and said the former governor of Colorado, John Hinklelooper, confusing name, and former name? governor of Ohio, John Kasich, would confirm his story because their 2020 20 campaigns were sacrificed for me. Is that a real name? Is a, a Hicken Looper? Is that a real name? Are you lying? Like, come, be fucking for real. Be is that a real name? Someone from Colorado needs to tell me because I that, that that only Colorado. I'm gonna say that right now. Only Colorado because I don't know if that's a real name. Hicken Looper. Like a German and an Irish were decided to get together and just make up words, and people believed it. Like hamburger. Well, no, because hamburger is actually named after Hamburg. Kind of. It don't matter. Uh, but still, it's just like, what the fuck? How is that a real name? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. But how is that a real fucking name? That bothers me more than this actual story. Mon said he felt he could have been the first unanimously elected candidate for both parties since George Washington. He added, but I was betrayed by the FBI, the federal courts, and my own family because they are people who believe I am the Messiah. This belief that I am the Messiah is why you have never heard this story on the news because it would spread that belief. I'm not saying I am the Messiah as I would never compare myself to Jesus Christ. I'm just saying that's why I was betrayed. And he ended by quoting the Bible at length saying that he had a sacred task. Congratulations, so you cocaine-riddled fucking freak. You did all of that, and you cried so much uh -huh. to the point where, once again, you're about to get dicked down by Big Tyrone. I hope it was worth it. And mm. if we could take away just a moment, and we could center it all back to the beginning of the video, it is important for all of you to be informed about the world and make sure that you're well updated on what's going on in this country and across the globe, but do yourself a favor. Take maybe two hours, three, five, 
six the rest of the day to enjoy your life go outside go on a walk to touch some grass smoke some weed play a video game do something other than scrolling on your phone and seeing some random hot take about dating random hot take Absolutely. about race random hot take about lgbtq mm -hmm. stop consuming that for the entire day and just go outside go they live your life something. go be proud of yourselves or you could watch me scream like a little bitch playing Poppy's Playtime Chapter 3. That's theirs now. Welcome home. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. What? Motherfucker! God damn it! Dude, it's okay. All of these are better. It's okay. Oh my god. Anyway. So, I guess I learned what I wanted to learn with that, but it was, like, an interesting ride. Thank you, Leon, for at least having me at least get the chance to listen to his voice. But, um... Mmm. Dude wanted to be a hero, and, you know, he made his dad into a villain. Now he's getting piped down by some big black dude. That sucks. I heard you ain't got a daddy. God damn it. Like, or some, I don't know what the men would do, but something weird like that. Men are weird about that. Men will try to out-gay each other, but then get really upset if someone gay comes around hitting on them. I'm, and I've always been confused about like, like, so why are you playing? <laughs> anyway, alright, so that's what I got. I, I hope... I hope this informs some folk, but but it's, it's a very... It's a very sad... Estate, I must say, for um, some shit like this. I don't know. Count your blessings, though. This world is just... This world is something else. I'm not sure what that something else is, but it's something, man. It's just... I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.